Have you ever had the thought, hey, I should sell my house or I should move out of this apartment and I should live in a motorhome and just travel full time? Well, a couple years ago I had that thought and here we are. In this video, I actually wanted to show you what the actual space difference is between a condo that is 1500 square feet going into a motorhome which is under 300 square feet. But first off, let me give you the tour of my condo. I miss it dearly. I loved it. I remodeled it right before I sold it. And this is what I used to live in. Now, don't get me wrong. That condo was amazing. It had its, its purpose. I was there for 10 years, but when I sold it, I actually sold it to be able to live in various places. I am a photographer. I travel a lot and I wanted to be able to stay in places longer rather than just go for a week or two. And now I live in incredible places with amazing scenery like here. just outside of Zion National Park. And places like this, Telephone Cove on the Nevada side, you gotta make sure you're coming to the Nevada side not the other side, way over there on the other side of the lake. These places are incredible, absolutely amazing. And sometimes I stay in a parking lot for a little bit. And here. Now that I've shown you all the places that I have lived, I wanted to give you a tour of the inside of my home How was that for a motorhome tour? I know, super quick, but I still think it's a cool shot. That actually took me forever to film. I decided to keep my motorhome name Simba. Simba is 39 feet long, absolutely stunning, and has a surprise in the back of the motorhome. We'll talk about that later. But isn't it absolutely gorgeous? I get a lot of questions about living in a motorhome. Does it have a toilet? Does it actually have water? What does it have? What is it like? Be sure to watch all the way through the inside of this motorhome tour because I am really excited to show you guys the function of that space, what I'm going to use it for in the last 10 feet of my motorhome. Now my motorhome is 39 feet long, but the living space is really 29 feet and stay tuned to the end of the inside of this tour to find out why. So here's the tour of the inside of my motorhome. Hope you enjoy it. The kitchen has a stove, a microwave, places to put your dishes, and a fridge that stores everything that you could possibly imagine, just like a normal home fridge would. Mm -hmm. 
everyone asks me, where's your bed? There it is, in the living room, drop down from the ceiling. It's actually really easy to make your bed when you just lift it up and it goes out of sight. Yes, it has a toilet. Oh look, there's a normal shower, just like the inside of a home. We're about to see my favorite part. Check this out. Not only does the gate go down, but I can level it out and turn it into a deck. And it holds 3,000 pounds, so I can actually have the back wall of my studio turn into an amazing backdrop of wherever I'm at. It's nice to have a second bed that comes down from the ceiling in the garage, which I am turning into a studio. Wasn't that tour amazing? There is so much more that I have to show you. Click on the next video to keep watching. It has been a pleasure to be with you for the last few minutes. And always remember that smile, life is good.